Hello, this is Ronnie Singh down here at Canal Side reporting for KLTV. Here this week to speak to Simon Grayson out of the big clash against Birmingham City on Saturday where former town boss Lee Clark faces his former club at the John Smith Stadium. Simon, victory against Charlton in the FA Cup. Was that the reaction you wanted from the team? Well, when you've had a poor, poor performance and a poor result, you're looking for the players to bounce back quickly. So, delighted with uh, the result because that's uh, the first thing that matters. But I was obviously delighted how the players performed. I thought we worked very hard, used the ball well, created good opportunities and limited Charlton to very few. So, we're all round a good, good result for everybody. Is it too soon to say it's the start of a positive run, a turn of belief, you say? Well, I think you can only say when uh, it's the start of a positive run is when, when you've got in four or five games. We've we proof of being the put in the next few games, but I think there's a lot of signs of what I was looking the players to do. There's a reaction, uh, the confidence um, seemed a little bit higher than the previous game, which obviously got affected against the Leicester, in the Leicester game, but delighted with the result. With training this week, how have you gone about, you know, creating, a, well, maintaining a positive atmosphere amongst the lads, especially with, you know, no, uh, no one in ten? Well, obviously. look, we've always been positive, even when we've sort of not uh, um, got the right results. People talk about not winning in ten, but we drew a lot of them games. It was, it was only a Leicester game really where that uh, we, we we felt that we let ourselves down really badly. So we responded well. The players have been bright. We were a bright group as a, as a staff. So we try and get the positives right across to the players and um, with, with everything that they do. On to transfer news, um, Callum, H- H- sorry, Callum Higginbottom moved to Motherwell, um, unknown. A lot of fans out there are saying you know, it's down to a bad attitude. Is there any truth in that for yourself? Or? No, not really. It's basically been down to Callum uh, having limited opportunities here and wanting to go and play first-team football. And that he went to Carlisle where it didn't quite happen for him. He's comfortable up in Scotland in terms of um, his girlfriend's up there with a child, so it, it worked well. He went and trained, they liked what uh, they saw, and, and we're up in front to go and get some football. So, uh, no, it's, it, Callum just wants to play first team football like a few of the other players. And you brought Neil Downs in from Leicester. Um, from the brief spell you know, you've had with him in training, what can fans expect from him? Well, I think when you look at Neil, who I know well from being at Blackburn as a player with him and, and Blackpool as well. He's an infectious character, he's got a lot of energy, uh, he'll get around the pitch, he, he likes to try and get in the box and score goals. He's a versatile player, can play anywhere across the midfield four, sometimes off a striker. So uh, I think they'll see an infectious character, a bubbly type who, who only wants to do well and obviously delighted to have got him because he's an experienced player who's, uh, who's played in the Championship for many years now. In terms of you know the players you've got and Neil coming in, what is it different about him? You know, is he is he going to create? Um, you know, is he going to change the game? Is it game well, he's, he's, he's got a knife for a goal, but he can he can pick a pass as well, and he can uh, he can work and chase as well. So he's, he's maybe a little bit different to what we've already got. No point bringing players in going for, uh, similar for, uh, similar. So basically, it gives us another option in, in different areas of the pitch. And is there any more transfer activity going on? I mean, rumours say that Scannell's not happy uh, in Huddersfield and <laughs> Hamill's loan obviously expires after the game. Is there well, any truth from him? Adam Hamill's um, loan goes and finishes. We'll have a conversation with him and Wolves after the weekend and see what we decide to do. As for Sean Scannell, well, probably utter rubbish because Scannell is loving it here. Played well, very well last week at Charlton and we're looking to get the best out of him. Um, news recently this, this week as well is a former town player, Joe Harper, you might have read um, in the 60s, Said Huddersfield's a nightmare and a hell of a place to come to, um, worse than hell. What what would you say, you know, to say a player that you were trying to attract to the club? What could you say about the club well, and the community? I'm, I've not seen that article, so it's hard for me to comment on. But I think you, know, you ask any of the players that have come up from different areas, whether they've come from Scotland, down from, from down south or the Midlands. And this is a, a community that is very um, uh, warm, that uh, likes people to. Um, nice and friendly and help you settle in. I think this is a fantastic football club where people will go out the way to help you and, and do whatever is required to make you uh, very happy in your life. So uh, me, for one, I've got no complaints of being in Huddersfield and, and how the people are, and I'm sure the players have as well, so I'm not quite sure where the, pl- the block's coming from. On to league matters. Um, in the Championship, you've got, you face Birmingham at home this Saturday. Firstly, Lee Clark returns to his former club. What kind of reception can Lee expect from his Well, I'm sure he got a good reception. He did well for the football club and uh, decisions were made to, uh, to do what Dean decided to do. Uh, not my problem. It's, it's always sometimes quite difficult for the next manager going back to the club so quickly. But um, basically, I'm sure Lee will be saying the same thing. It's about us 
against Birmingham City trying to get three points and all that's all that matters so uh, hopefully we come out on top and, we, and leave a bit disappointed with Elaine's. With recent results as well you know it's not too dissimilar between yourselves and Birmingham in terms of the recent results how important is the tie then for each manager especially with you know um, pressure on managers these days? Well, because you want to win matches. We want to win matches to try and get us up that table and get us back to where we were a few weeks ago. So that's the most important thing. And uh, if you don't win at the weekend, you try and win the next week at Watford. So it's vital to try and keep keep plugging away and, and try and get some victories and consistency together to try and get us back up that table and, and if we're possible, into the playoff areas again. And you've, you've both some fantastic players such as Vaughan, um, Beckford and now Dan's against the attacking lineup of, you know, um, King, Redmond, possibly Zigic as well. What kind of well, what kind of affair will this game be on Saturday? Will it be? Well, I'm sure it'll be a tough game. There'll be tackles flying in. There'll be players who've got a lot of flair and imagination. Um, hopefully, we're well organised. We're hard to beat, and we've got the individual players who can open opportunities up against Birmingham. So, uh, yeah. Okay. No matter who we're playing against, we we'll try and do these things on a weekly basis. And you know, the forecast says it's going to be very cold, snow, possibly ice over the weekend. Um, does that change your tactics and you know your adaptability towards the game? You know, especially in January. Okay, it makes it a little bit difficult, more difficult sometimes to, with the training set up because uh, if the pitches are frosty, you might have to train later. But I don't think it makes too much difference. If it's cold, the players got to run around a little bit quicker and more and faster. And finally, how are you on the injury front? Uh, Joel Lynch will miss out the weekend with a hamstring strain still. Keith Southern's making good progress. Um, Oscar Gorbans joined back in training this week, which is positive, but uh, obviously a long way off because he's been out for so long. Best of luck this Saturday. Thanks very Cheers, much. Thank you. Well, there you have it. I spoke to Simon Grayson this week ahead of the clash against Birmingham City on Saturday. He does assure us that he is confident that the players are ready to go and build upon last weekend's victory against Charlton this Saturday. This is Randy Singh reporting for KLTV.